In this lecture, we will know about some of the basic fundamentals of linear static analysis. So this is the first type of analysis that we perform in any FVS software and this is the most basic type of analysis. In the linear static analysis, we have two important terms. One is linear and the second is static. This type of analysis is also called quasi-static analysis. So now we are going to learn about them. What is meaning of linear static and quasi-static analysis? So linear means whenever we have a linear relationship between anything and static means whenever anything is independent of time. When we perform any analysis, we have parameter like we have force, we have displacement. So basically linear static is related to force and displacement. Whenever there is a linear relationship between, let's say I have displacement here and this is force. So on any body we apply a force and we get some displacement. And whenever the graph between this force and displacement is linear curve, it means it is a straight line. So this type of analysis is called linear analysis. And here we have static. So static means, so let's say I take this color and I have this curve here and these two curves. On the one side I have time as parameter and here is time. So here we have force and here we have displacement. So in case of static analysis, the force does not change with time. It means it is a straight line. Similarly, the displacement is also straight line. It means force and displacement does not depend on time. So these are not a function of time. That is the meaning of linear static analysis. So the quasi static analysis means very very slow process. It means very very slow. So that is the meaning of quasi static. So now let's consider an example. So here in case of we can see the force does not change with time. But in real life there can be a change in the force with respect to time. So basically what software does is that it considers that the change in force. So let's say the value of delta f is very well. So the process is very very slow and delta f that is change between the force is very close to zero. Okay, so it means it's like 0 0.001 or anything like that. So it means the process is very slow so that there is not a significant change in the value of force. That is called linear static analysis. Now let's understand this concept in depth. The relationship between load and the induced response. So response is basically the displacement we get. So this is D is linear. For example, see whenever there is a linear relationship between F is proportional to D, it means if I double the value of force, then I will get double of the displacement. So this is basically called the linear relationship. Now here we can see we have stress and here we have strain. So we consider this line as a straight line. So whenever this is a straight line here, so this is called linear and whenever this line is not straight, it means this is a curved line. That type of analysis is called nonlinear. So nonlinear is basically a more complicated type of analysis and we will cover this later in the course. So when we draw the governing equation for the linear analysis, we know from the Newton's equation, we know that net force on a body, so this is net force equal to mass into acceleration. So here we can see the displacement that is D does not change with time. Okay, so velocity distance by time. So now when the displacement is not changing, so velocity will be zero. And similarly, the acceleration will be zero. So, so that is why when we perform the linear static analysis, 
this term will be cancelled so this ma will get cancelled because a equal to 0 so it means the inertia force or the mass has no effect in linear static analysis so that is why there is no need to define the value of density so sometimes we define the density of material in analysis so we don't there is not a need to define the density in linear static analysis but when we perform the nonlinear analysis or dynamic analysis this term is not zero because in those situations the displacement vary with time hence we need to insert the value of density when we perform the dynamic simulation so let's understand this from here so in the linear static analysis we have a test that is called simple tensile test we take a specimen of any material so let's say this is steel so we take the steel we, we pull it from both directions like this and then we draw a curve between strain and stress so this is basically called the stress strain curve now inside this stress strain curve we have some important points the point a is called the proportionality limit and then point b and c are called the yield point d is called the breaking point and e is the fracture point when we learn about the linear static analysis we consider this curve up to only this proportional limit so we consider let's say this is a straight line so if we go to this here here we can see we have stress and then strain and we consider up to this only proportionality limit and this is called the stress strain proportionality curve and this is called the elastic limit basically up to this region here we can see this is called the elastic region and Hooke's law is valid up to this region and when we perform the linear static analysis we insert all the property of material up to this proportional limit and when we perform the nonlinear analysis we go beyond this region because we can see after this a point the curve is not a linear curve so finally we can assume that all the load are applied very slowly and gradually until they reach their fully ma full magnitude and after reaching the full magnitude the load remain constant it means it is time invariant so time is not a function here hence we neglect the effect of inertia that is mass and any damping force and the acceleration and velocities are very small that we can consider them equal to zero and all the material property here we define is up to the Hooke's law that is means the stress is directly proportional to the strain also there is no change in the geometry we consider when we apply the load here so after the load application there is no change in the geometry these are all the assumptions when we perform the linear static analysis